Hi, fifth grade. I hope you're doing well. <coughs> Today we are on lesson 32.4, um, facing opposition. But let's start with prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your guidance and direction, Lord. I just pray that you would continue to be with us during this um, challenging time of all the unknowns and not being together, Lord. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. Okay, your memory verse is Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. I'll read that again. This is Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And we're talking about facing opposition today and this whole week we're talking about Nehemiah rebuilds the wall. Nehemiah faced opposition from the beginning of his project. Opposition means a resistance or hostility toward someone or something. Sand ballot. Tobiah, Geshem, leaders of the neighboring countries, mocked and ridiculed the Jewish leaders, accusing them of rebelling against the king. Nehemiah boldly confronted them, and the work began on the wall. I'm going to summarize Nehemiah 4 through 6. Sembalat, Tobiah, and Geshem persisted in causing problems. When they notified, when they noticed that the work on the wall continued, they even plotted to fight against the workers in order to get them to stop rebuilding. But Nehemiah and the people prayed for strength and deliverance. Later, another issue arose. Some of the Jewish people were guilty of usury. They were lending money to their own people and then charging them ridiculous high, ridiculously high fees for the loans. This was causing financial difficulty for the people, even forcing some into slavery because they could not pay their debts. Nehemiah called for the lenders to stop in order to provide a good testimony for God to the other nations. The men, the men practically practicing usury listened to Nehemiah and and restored the houses, land, and other possessions back to the people. However, this was not the end of the opposition. Sanballat, Tobiah, and Geshem began scheming against them, time, this time to kill Nehemiah. However, after prayer, their plot was thwarted and the wall was completed. Nehemiah was indeed a great leader because he took much courage and because it took much courage and boldness to stay steadfast against Sambalat, Tobiah and Geshem, all of whom were inf influential leaders in the land. Yet through all of the threats, dangers, and hardships, Nehemiah and the workers remained unified. Nehemiah's strength was in his relationship with God and his resolve to complete the task God had given him. Despite constant opposition, Nehemiah and the Jews completed completed 
rebuilding the walls. They remained faithful. Their key weapon against the enemy was prayer, unity, perseverance, and faith. I want you to compare the opposition Nehemiah faced to what believers are facing today. Let's think about what are different believers having to go through that's difficult and challenging um, that Nehemiah might have had to face. Sometimes non-believers make fun of believers for their faith. Satan also uses people and other obstacles to in interfere with the spread of the gospel. To interrupt the work, you know, like sometimes people have issues with getting visas approved or raising the funds with traveling overseas and becoming a missionary. There's just all these different things that the devil tries to put in our path to stop the spread of the gospel. But, just like Nehemiah, we have the Lord on our side. We can go to him in prayer. We can, you know, spend time in his word and say, Lord, I don't understand what's going on right now, but I know you do. And we can ask him for that guidance and direction, and he gives it. So, um, let's try and remember that. That we can depend on the Lord, that he's there for us through thick and thin and what seems impossible to us is not impossible with God because he loves us and cares for us and wants to help us in whatever way he can. So that was lesson 32.4 facing opposition. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. God bless.